This stairs belongs to Jerusalem, right up to here. And the Israelis draw a line, like a border, dividing between Jerusalem and the West Bank, all over there. Now this part of my house is in West Bank too, right up to here. Now this room, living room, is in Jerusalem, and this room too. I've been divided into two pieces. This is Jerusalem, this is the West Bank, right up to here. So now I'm in Jerusalem. This is Jerusalem, this is the West Bank. I'm in Jerusalem now, and I don't have a permit to be here, so I'm actually illegal in my own house. Mahmoud. Yal. Sorry, so I didn't know what to do. No. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. شوي شوي بس عشان لسه لما بتطلعيها بعد الظهر صعبة هلا النزل سهل دقيقة تخيب يا 
مفيش حدا فاتح رمضان أغنية عن رمضان لازم واحدة هاي بقى استنى 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 هاي بقى تعي تعي بنزل 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 احكي معه احكي معه يستنى واو 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 ناسي الموبايل ناسي البلفون بنزل صباح الخير حبيبي ليش تأخرت الماما؟ عشان نزلوا لنا الجيش اسألها بابا ليش تأخرت؟ بس بدي الجيش أنا أنا الجيش ولا أنا ما بحبش الجيش ينزلوني لأنه بتأخر بجيش عندك بدري صح؟ بطول على الحاجز في الطريق وبجيش عند صليبة بدري بضل حاله صليبة بس هم الجيش صليبة وتعمل كمان ضلع بعرفوش انه عندي اولاد حلوين لازم ارجع لهم بسرعة صح؟ لازم اخذك معي عشان يشوفوا انه عندي اولاد حلوين انت مش بدك تشتري جرافة باكيت؟ اه شو بدك تسوي في الجرافة؟ ايه والحجار الحجار وايش كمان بتقيم؟ الحيط بتقيم الحيط وشو بتسوي لما تقيم الحيط؟ نرجع ندخل عزته نعملوا بالحيطة بحطوا بالجرابة اه انت بتعرفي تسوق الجرافة؟ اه اه؟ وين بدك تكبوا الحيط؟ في الزبالة الزبالة بدك تكبوا؟ اه وين الحيط حاطينه؟ في زيتوناتنا في ليش طيب؟
okay, this is the land, our land down there, and the wall will pass right here where I am standing now, right beside the hospital. اه ابو خضر شو ضايل قدامنا شجر والله مش كثير انا ضايل صار عاد السنة الجاي شو نسوي؟ بكون حاطين هالصور فيها؟ اه 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 هاي الصور بده يمر منها بحطوا عمر صور بحطوا عمر اه بده يمر منها انا ويطلع على الجمعيه فوق وبروح ينزفن هذا اخر سنه من جدا هذول كل واحد من جد تروح كلها بتضل قطع صغيره منها من تحت بتضل ورا الصور وهذا كله ما محل ما انت واقف بيجي الصور The wall was built gradually. I remember 14 January 2004, this year. They closed the area, the whole kilometer square around, and they announced it as a closed military area. They were banning us from me moving, even moving the children out early morning to go to the buses. I remember quite well, you know, I was calling my friends from the Israeli Mahsoum Watch women. Please come to help, you know, I can't get my children out to school. And we didn't know for how long it will take. They announced that the military closure order is only for 15 days, but still, I couldn't hold my children from not going to school for 15 days. And for what? For a good reason? For a good cause? No. For being blocked from their families. So we had to resist and defy. So the Mahsoum Watch women were helping me. And then around February, the wall that side, the nine meter wall was standing still because they were working 24 hours. The bulldozers sound all over the place. We used to feel that the house, you know, base was shaking all the time as if there is a continuous earthquake around the houses. And uh, even my child at the end, Yasmin, was telling me, Mom, I got used to the bulldozers. If there is, the house is not shaking, I'm not going to sleep. I need to feel the house shaking. Just like, you know, Lalabu, they call it. So now I'm really shocked here to see that there's a new fence, so that means very clearly this is only to be used by the settlers. This is the first house that they built under the protection of the army. Now, I want to go and check on that, that house, really. Let's go and check on that house. You speak English? Huh? Anybody in the house? Why he's not showing up? Why? Why without a camera? What are you afraid of? That you have done so much wrong in your life? Because I am, uh, because I am ugly. Well, you're ugly with your actions, of course. 
because you are the unwanted neighbors. I live there. You know that? If you're doing nothing wrong according to your uh, convictions, you have to speak with me. How many families in the house? Why is it so important to you? Because, because you are the unwanted neighbors in my neighborhood now. Ah, you want to know who is your neighbor? The unwanted neighbors, yes. Unwanted? Of course. <laughs> but just like you know about us, why don't we know about you? And to see why you're coming to live in Palestinian areas. You have 78% of Israel. Why do you come here? I told you, I'm just uh, security. So you don't think? You're not a human being to think what you're doing? They put uh, you on the front line and you don't think? You have 78% of the historic Palestine as the state of Israel. And everybody is ready to recognize it. We're already recognizing it. Why are you coming to my 22%? Why? I'm not the right man to talk about the uh, But you, you, are, you are on the front line. You're the one with, facing uh, me. government, not with me. But you have to vote. You have to stand for your I'm government. I'm in the system. No one is, in a democracy, no one is little. Supposedly. This way will be closed very soon by walls like this, by concrete walls like this. So even this luxury of having a small opening towards Abu Dis will be closed for us. And we will start making a long bypass towards the Zaili settlement and then to Abu Dis. So it's like half an hour of drive next time and very soon. So now we're enjoying the small luxury left for us. Before they constructed the wall, how long it took you to drive to, to your school? Two minutes, <laughs> less than two minutes. It's like two kilometers, that's it. And I thought, you know, I'm becoming lucky somehow in my life by having my house very much near my job. You know, that's the best anybody can think about. Two minutes of walk or drive and you're in, in your job area. So. It all went the opposite. Now I have to drive 30 minutes when I don't make this cross, especially when I'm carrying some things for the school, like books, stationery that we can't find in this side of the world, I bring from Jerusalem. So, and most of the time I do it. That's part of, you know, what an administrator has to do. اكتب اكتبي اقرا اقرا لا انا دائما بقول لهم انا هاي اوجد اوجد اكتب على اساس انه لا تجي هدول الصغار لازم يناموا اي ساعه سبعه وانتم شوي اي ساعه لازم ينام ثمانيه اي ساعه ثمانيه اي ساعه ثمانيه لازم ينام بكير وين في بكير شوف الصحة كمان مرة نعم بكير في بكير شوف الصحة كيف بتصير كمان مرة شو لازم نسوي نعم بكير في بكير شوف الصحة كيف بتصير اوكي ضم فتح ضم 
بالفرنسي بالانجليزي عظيم زافوا لحالكم I am a professor at the Al-Quds University. I teach oral and maxillofacial surgery, my specialty. I work at, uh, as a private surgeon at private hospitals in Bethlehem and Hebrew. I have a dental center in Hebrew, and uh, I have also the clinic in Bethlehem. وين الدرعة أبو ديس يا جماعة؟ بس نطلع الأربعة في محل الأربعة؟ يلا أبو ديس يلا كيف الحواجز اليوم؟ شو ال يعني في حواجز شيء تحت؟ عندي تبع بيت سحور كان عليه أزمة اه هاد الكونتينر يعني اه شوي مسلم حاجز في بيت سحور يعني حاجز طيارة له يومين له يومين له يعني قديش بدها وقت على الحاجز تتوقع هذا تنطلع عنه؟ والله حسب السيارات يعني ممكن ربع ساعة نص ساعة لو اه صباح الخير يا دكتور شو وصلت وصلت ولا لسه وين انت اه طيب اسمع علي آه انا شوي آه راح اتاخر بلش معهم انت قبل ما اصل اوكي حكيت لك امبارح يلا معلش شو نسوي اوكي اوكي يا دكتور فهد يلا باي باي My colleague, the other doctor, is on uh, Ramallah checkpoint, Kalandia checkpoint. He's going to be late 20 minutes to the okay. clinic. People leave their cars here uh, and go by feet. Okay, a few cars today. There are the, the gates down there.
Can you calculate how much time of your life in the last four years you spent in Checkpoint? Uh, it's uh, from uh, half an hour to two hours daily maybe you, you will lose. You know, at the checkpoints, if you're going there and back and there. You have to answer five questions they say. اختاروا أي خمسة منهم simple questions في preferable questions اللي بجاوبهم بأخذ علامة أحسن شوي أنا بحكي لكم لي questions لما يصيروا بين إيديكو أوكي المش direct questions preferable أزود من الدايركت لأنه بدلوا إنه قدر واحد فيكو يربط بين عدة شغلات كويس question number three there are no points this is preferable question to make compartment between local anesthesia, uh, comma, general anesthesia and dental chair, comma, and general anesthesia at the hospital. Question number four, name the contents. Can a few words, few words about everyone. Yeah, you can write. You have one hour. One hour. You know, I feel that I'll be a local refugee. I'm moving from my land here to other part of my land. Can you imagine to be uh, refugees in your land? I think it's uh, maybe the first time, you know, in the, in the history that somebody be refugees in his land, in his own land. My grandfather spent his time to work in our lands, you know, and to buy more lands. So at the end, we have a lot of lands. You know. We lost a lot of it in the settlement's area, but we still have. You know. My grandfather and my father and me, we never uh, you know, think to leave this country. You know. When I was youth, many people tried to invite me to go to America or to Europe to live there, but I, I always I refused this. They used to arrest me in 83, in 82. You know, in those days, I, I was uh, an active in the worker movement. But these activities mean that you are supporting, of course, your national movement. You try to organize the people, you know, especially the workers, you know, to define their rights. But according to the court, it's politics, it's national, and it's, you know, served for some Palestinian organizations. Salam. 
لولا سوى فيلم وثائق عن تشيف السور سوى فينا السور؟ اه كله بقينا نشتغل في اليوم 20 سيارة مم. الحين في السنة نشتغل 20 سيارة نشتغل 20 سيارة كله بقينا نشتغل ونورشل ونشرب اليوم إذا ما سركناش من حالنا <تصفيق> بنعيش كله فهموا إنه الصور مش معناته أكل وشرب ومية كله الصور معناته إنه أنا لازم أروح على عمي على عمتي أشوفها بطلت أقدر أشوف عمتي وعمي كله إني أنا بكيت أجي عندك أقعد عندك كله إنه الصور منع السيارات اللي في القدس يجير صلحوا عنا كله منعنا نعرف نتحكم هل الشغلات احنا حكينا انا وياك كله منعنا بس احنا هنا في الحاره كله منعنا نجيب قطع للسيارات فلذلك الزبون صار يستبعد المحل انا مزبون اللي هنا الزبون مثلا اي زبون بدو قطع على سياره شي بدك تطلع في صور بالنسبه للتابعين ما له دميم ولا للجميع؟ اه للجميع كله عدا عن الصور انه شيل نص ساعه في مخصوم هنا في الشوارع هذه اللي عندنا شوارع قريبة على المستعمرات. كله بقى عندنا خلق تغييرة. مش لنا الحين أنا وعصار. أنجح المي كادرين نحيل عليهم. أوكي. هات خلينا نسوي لهم كعبة. كله أخرى بنسمع إحنا في التلفزيون إنهم بدهم يفتحوها. وين؟ كل ما نسمع خبر إنهم بدهم يفتحوا الدنيا. من نخنك ازوا دائما اه لا يعني وما يقول كله خصوصا كله خصوصا بس السلطه توعدنا انها بدها تريح <تصفيق> كله لو السلطه ما توعدنا عشان انها بدها تريحنا كان زمان انفرجت وصلت الامور هذا مفاجات شو؟ كله بعدين احنا بالنسبه لنا شغل خسرناه الكنس باعتبار خسرناها ما ضلش شيء نخسر يعني مش فارقه كل لوين توصل الحاله مش مهم هلا وين الطريق بالاخر توصل خالص شو بدنا نضل نعيط الصغار لهم ربنا يشتي لهم دولارات كل صلاح ترجم له بالانجليزي كل لو فيش قهوه بعيط لكم وبعبي لكم الكيسات وبفتيكم قهوه <تصفيق> كله الامانه اوه الاضافي هذا كله من دمع العين بس فيه ومن دمع المي بس فيه <تصفيق> رمضان مثلا هون تسلمين شو حلوين يا عيني براءة وسلام انتوا كتبتوا اسمائكم شاطرين هيك ماخذ النجمة اليوم شاطرة ما يقيمين الدين شيء اخو ما عاد كان في سجن ما كوري بس اوري مو تملى تسعة الشيني جاب المكبر زي لو شهير اقعد حادش سجروا متو كان بكل مش بخاش اللي انا ابوه شلوش مود ايش مش اروبو وكما تم بتسد ازاي لا اسر بتيم لا يتم ما اسر بتيم من السمن ورخ دين شلمن 100 الف شكل بلو عذر شم دبر عاد اخشب ما نعسل يا ديه تخش شي اي بام يا بو شلوم بحيين لو يشلوم بحيين لو يشلو لو يشلو مي يوم هرشي يشلو بحيين لو يشلو
יאללה. This is East Sawahri area. According to the Israelis, this site and that block is still Jerusalem. They pay taxes. But the wall now is coming to break through the same neighborhood. This is the area for the Surhi family, the father and three of his sons just behind the wall. And four of his sons are on the other side of the wall. Now they only have this opening here to connect between them, between the two sides. Their children come to my school, but very soon they will be totally separated from the father and the other brothers, and their children won't be able to reach my school inside. And they have to walk like three kilometers to reach the schools in the West Sawahri, because they are to be connected daily basis with that side. So this is one of the crazy scenes that you can see. This is my house, and this is part of, uh, historically, the Abu Dis area. And all the people living here are the same family, the Ayyad family, which goes up till here, which is the Cliff Hotel. Originally, this is the family of my husband's, uh, they are the cousins of my husband. They gave, birth, they gave birth, you know, the mother gave birth to all their children here. And then later on, the children decided to invest into the house and make it and develop it into a hotel. And it's been called the Cliff Hotel since then. Now, in 67, when the Israelis occupied the, the East Jerusalem, they annexed lots of part of the East Jerusalem occupied territories into the state of Israel by calling it the unified uh, city of Jerusalem. The border line for 67 is here, just up of this uh, gray gate. That part of the hotel is the bar. The bar comes inside Jerusalem. And the rest of the hotel is in the West Bank. And the joke in the family was always, you know, you get drunk in Jerusalem, then you go to sleep over in the West Bank. Accordingly to this uh, division, the people who were living here, 10 months later when the census took place on foot, they gave them Jerusalem ID cards. They are also Ayat family. But the family, you know, the cousins who were living here, they gave them West Bank ID cards because the majority of their property was falling into the West Bank. Now, the land, according to the Israeli 67 borderline, is West Bank. So what the government did is they expanded the borderline of Jerusalem just, you know, like a few meters back. And accordingly, the, the hotel was moved from West Bank property to Jerusalem property. But the owners and the residentship legality wasn't changed. They still carry West Bank ID cards. But according to the Israeli laws now, they don't exist in the same country, so they don't exist so officially. Therefore, the hotel is being confiscated on basis of absentee property. That we, the Ayat family, we don't exist because legally we carry ID cards as if we are from another country concerning this country. And we have no Problem in that because, you know, they imposed the orange West Bank ID cards and they imposed the blue Jerusalem ID cards. We're the same family. This is our historic property. But overnight, we're losing it.
The Israelis just, you know, mixed up the area as they want. They annexed this part, they excluded that part, and accordingly they started affecting our, you know, family relations and family lives. 14 years ago, I made this huge mistake of loving a West Banker. Now he's living illegally with me in the house. A few days ago, the army came to threaten us, saying, you're not supposed to be here as West Bankers, and if we see you here by the end of the month, we will really prevent you from coming back. So now it's, it's becoming a, a nightmare for the people here what to do. If my husband is really kicked out of the house, what's going to happen between me and him concerning the girls? The girls need their father just like they need their mother. We gave birth to and we gave life to in this life, trying to give them as much safety as possible and care as possible from both sides, the mother and the father. It's not an easy thing. I think that my father is not going to live with us anymore. That he's going to move to Abu Dis, to live inside Abu Dis, because he has no permit to, to live here. And how do you feel about it? Of course, sad. No one likes to live this way. Like, to live without his father. It's not nice to live this way. Usually at night he's with us, like, we go sometimes down to play, or we go up on the roof watching the stars, but now, at night, there's no way that he'll be with us. Each way, because he's not going to go to Abu Dis. <sighs> All these checkpoints and bypasses doesn't make you feel like the hell Trapped. is all this. I'm immigrating, I'm moving to a normal place. Homeland is much more than just a, a, a place to live. I think the only, the only uh, uh, weapon to defend ourselves is to stay here now. This occupation is uh, not using the country and the resources and leaving. This occupation is trying to get rid of the people and have the lands of this country. This is a, a, a new kind of occupation. About my children, uh, I think if I will be here and if my, my people will be here, they will have better life. Uh, think, uh, things changes. It can't be the same. Occupation can't be forever. Turkish was here for 400 years, and where are they? Nothing left. Even some words from Turkish was in Arabic, used in Arabic language. Now they are lost. My grandfather used some, some few words. Now they are lost. We know some words from 
Israeli occupation, and my, my uh, grandchildren will, will lose them. So there will be nothing left of them. Just believe me. Hello? Hello, Yunus. Hello, I'm talking to you, I'll see you, okay? Okay, okay, yalla. Bye, 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 bye. I have to go to the hospital. We'll be stuck here for about one hour. Straight forward, we reach Kalandia and Ramallah. The other side will be Jerusalem, you know, behind the wall on the left side, that will be Jerusalem. And this side will be West Bank. But the bottom line is that both sides are Palestinians, the same families. This is the most crazy scene, you know, all this way long. You have Palestinians on both sides. Yeah. Well, the same as in... Uh... I know, but you know, because it's shorter the distance, you don't see the, the disaster. But here, the disaster is that it's a long way through. It's like 10 kilometers of drive. We're approaching now Kalandia checkpoint. The shameful Kalandia checkpoint. Generally speaking, you need like two hours every day on checkpoints. And that's, you know, like normal day, two hours on checkpoints. So out of an eight hours work, you spend two hours on the checkpoints. But sometimes it becomes more. It depends on the mood of the army on the checkpoints, how much jam they make among the Palestinian cars and the people who are walking. After a while, you start looking down on yourself with all this mess that you go into. And people stop thinking that this is because of the checkpoint and the, the occupation. They start fighting among each other, oh, because you went inside here, because you came in front of me, because you went in the back. And they start putting their anger on each other. And the, the whole issue can be just gone in one minute if this checkpoint is gone. If you stay here five minutes, you'll go crazy. Everybody is peeping. Look, listen. God. And you don't know who is beeping for whom. Everybody loses their uh, nerves. Thank you. 
Okay, I finished this one. My biggest dream. If we have peace. So I can go wherever I want. Go wherever I want to go without anybody telling me where are you going. Like, I dream to go to Paris. I like the picture that I see about Paris. But in this situation, it's really hard for Palestinians to travel. So I want peace. So I can go wherever I want to go. Including Paris. Yeah. It's oh. the first place I want to go there. Bonjour, je m'appelle Yasmine. Je ne dis pas Yasmine. Bonjour, marhaba, je m'appelle Yasmine. Yasmine, Yasmine, j'ai 7 ans, j'ai 7 ans. Je suis étudiante à l'école des sœurs du réserve Madrasa Trawat al Je suis étudiante. Mm. 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 Oui, but then I had mm. um, even and Miss Mahaikin. Oh, no, okay, 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 Yeah. Yeah. إنه من هلا ثلاثين شهر حاول يحل لنا مسألة الإقامة. يجي يطلع لكم إقامات. يعني لو إقامة مؤقتة. فيش وعي. إنما. طب لم طب ولم مش شمل دوش يفتح لم مش شمل كمان مرة. لا. بس مجرد إقامة. دي يعتمد على وضع جديد. إنه هذا الزلمة لازم يعيش مع مرته وبناته. أنا والجيران. سامة متفائل خير. والوضع بشكل عام. بدعيش للخير بس بدي حاول كمحامي الوضع العام مش هكذا بشي جاي زين انت بتعرفي اذا ابوك ما اخدش اقامة شو بده يصير بس يصير ابوك بده يضطر يعيش ابو ديس اذا قالوا لنا الجيش الصلاح لازم يروح ابو ديس واحنا نضلنا هون ايش بدك تعيشي هون ولا مع البابا اه رأي زينة تحكي زينة وين بدك ما بدي التنين شو رأيكم I'm serious, يعني إنه نعيش هون والبابا يجي بالويك إند كل خميس وجمعة وسبت ينام عنا من هربو يا بس خطيرة السهلة أنا بعيش إنه نقول عندك وعدين نيجي عندكم طيب يعني تروحي كم من يوم عند البابا وكم من يوم عندي كل يوم مرة كل واحد عنده مرتين يعني مثلا تنين ثلاثة أربعة تناموا عند البابا خميس جمعة سبت حد بتناموا عندي يوم الحد بتنام على الجدار
أنا ما بقدر أروح أعيش في أبو ديس لأنه بتروح هويتي وإذا راحت هويتي بتروح هويتكم وإذا راحت هويتكم بكرة لا بتقدروا تروحوا جامعات ولا بتقدروا تسافروا ولا بتقدروا تسووا إشي فبصفي إنه which is true مظبوط ولا لا؟ فهذا بيعني إنه بدنا نعمل هذا الحل بس أنا بدي أسير كل اثنين وكل ثلاثة وكل أربعة باجي عندكم على أبو ديس بنطبخ بندرس وساعة النوم أنا باجي هون عشان الدار تبقى مضوية ويبين إنه فيها ناس ماما الثلاثة أنا موسيقى أو معناته يعني ماما خميس أربعة خميس جمعة بتناموا عند البابا أربعة خميس جمعة حلوة صارت عشان الأربعة فيش درس وخميس فيش درس والجمعة فيش درس وإذا حسيتوا بغلبكم هذا الحكي؟ لا أنا مش حاسة رح يغلب زي الواحد بنام في أوتيل يعني بس آه بس ما هذا الحكي بيعني إنه أواعي هون وأواعي في أبو ديس وكتبكم بتضلها معكم بالشنطة ثمانية؟ يس yes. إذا إذا بدنا نوم على السور لازم لنا كمان سور وحرام وغلطة وبجامعة خمسين كتاب أنت بتفكريها يعني فن وأكشن وإنه يعني الواحد يعيش مرة هون ومرة آه. هون أكشن؟ آه. أنت بتعرفيش إنه هذا الحكي رح يسوي وجع راس؟ إذا راس إيه؟ أنا بقول لكم أنتوا بتفكروا بسيط وإتس فان إنه مرة تناموا هون ومرة تناموا هون. الشغلة بس الباص هاي اللي بتصير. إتس نوت فان، إتس نوت فان. ليه؟ إتس نوت فان. أنا بقول لك إتس نوت فان إنه كل مرة نعيش في محل. واضح؟ إذا حسيتوا حالكم تعبانين من هذا الترتيب إنه يومين عند أبوكم يومين عندي لازم تيجوا تقولوا لنا ماما إحنا تعبنا عشان نبلش نفكر بتفكير جديد. واضح؟ اتفقنا نكون صريحين؟ واضح ممكن نكون صريحين مع بعض؟ واضح لأنه اتس كريزي بس يعني شو بدنا نسوي؟ حتى يلا This is in Hebrew. This is an order. And the map. You found it? Yeah. This year in August. In August. I found it here. On this tree. On this tree. This year in August 2004. An order in Hebrew. And a map. Where is the wall? is coming to cut the land from here over and to leave it after the wall. Here is my land. I put mark here after I found it in August. Look, this is the wall. They cut the land from here. They take all this and they leave the, the, that place after the wall. And this is what they consider it a border of uh, white Jerusalem. I get mad. What we can do? This is a government. We have an thing to defend ourselves. What we can do? Do you know what's the reason that they gave for confiscating your land? They say that for the security of Israel, state of Israel. But I didn't think so. Here is not the security of Israel. They can put it in other places, near their 
settlement. Not to take all the land and let this wall come near the houses of Bejara, where we can go, we, we, where, how we can wide our town, how we can build to our children in the future. This is impossible. But look, it has no sense of security. You can see it. It's just like a new borderline, putting de facto on the ground. This land we're grabbing, this land behind is yours. Do whatever you want in your prison. But what happened? Did you see anybody throwing stones? No. אנשים פה, פלסטינים, רגמו באבנים את הרכב של עובדי קו התפר. את הרכב שלהם? כן. פגעו בהם איזה עשרה אבנים שם. טוב, עלה מול המושל, תגיד למושל שאני רוצה שיגיע יצא לשם. אני רוצה לשם. מוסא! מוסא! תביא את השכפ"ט שלי מהרכב. השכפ"ץ הירוק? This proves that there is no sense of security for the war. Any passerby Israeli can be stoned by the, some bunch of Palestinians. You see, life is going as normal there. Just one kid passer by, throwing a stone, and then all this tear gas and all this security uh, craziness. It really shows that it has no sense of security. No logic of security. It's just land grab. All the land of Abu Dis is now grabbed by the Israelis. So what security does it serve? Another tear gas, even though there is nothing happening there. Look, they will shoot another tear gas, and life there up is so normal. The kid who threw a stone has gone by, by now home. But now anybody else passing by will smell the gas as a torture for one kid passing by. <laughs> אתה רואה איפה זורקים אבנים? איפה? אתה רואה את המבנה הגבוה המרובה? הנה, כל הילדים שם. אתה רואה אותו שמה? שם הוא זורק אבנים? איפה המסגד? מתוך המסגד.
If you go, they will stop throwing stones. Why don't you think about it? Just go, they will stop throwing stones. These are kids going home. The what? If you go, they will stop throwing stones. So why you stand? As long as you just enter the car, enter my car and drive with me when they're stoning you and me together. But because you are on their land, you took their lands. These are the lands of Abu Dhabi people. You're not not on military. So go from here. You are on military ground. Please leave the area now before I remove you by law. פעם שנייה אתה לא מבין מה אני אומר לך, אני נסוג, הם הולכים אחריי. Do you hate the Israelis? Not all. I hate soldiers, Sharon, and the bad people in the government. But not all the Israelis, because I see some of them, they just come here and help us. They're bad people who's been with the government, with Sharon, stealing our land, those people who come and just give us like a piece of paper saying that we can't live here anymore. Of course, I'm not going to like those people. Even they say that they are their work. This is their work. No one accepts this kind of work. Just if he loves it. يا زيتون الحواري صباح زيتك ما كالي يا زيتون الحواري صباح زيتك ما كالي ويا زيتون الحك عليك لطلع زيتك من عينيك يا زيتون الحك عليك لطلع زيتك من عينيك والجدادي والله كاطا بيشدوا على بعض كثير يلا نلحقهم يلا تا نجمع زاتون كثير تا نجمع زاتون كثير يا <تصفيق> عزيزي
Me queda bien, bien. I feel now, the last uh, two months, always they are, they try to hang me. Because they feel that they try to catch me. To get hold of you. Yeah. They love me all, all the time, but I feel the last two months was different. You know. They feel that soon you won't Maybe. be available every day. Just because they are children, you know, especially my uh, small daughter, you know. She feels that something will happen. It's not an easy choice that we are taking because Traditionally, I should move with him to Abu Dis in order to keep the family together. But legally speaking, I ha we have to be separated. The moment I move inside Abu Dis, I will lose my residentship, the blue ID card that the Israelis are giving me. And that means less income for us as a family. So I have to be separated. We're convinced of that. We're talking about uh, 200 meters, you know. We're not talking that uh, I'm not going to America, you know. Maybe if they shout at night, I can hear them from here, you know. I can stand behind the wall at night. And there's a telephone also. I don't know, no. Actually, I don't like to think about the situation, you know. If he still keeps the permits that allows him to be with us between 7 in the morning and 7 in the evening, in the morning the girls are at school, he won't see them. But that will also give him small time, little time, to be with us together in the house. So he will always spend two, three hours maximum with us here. The same period that I will spend two, three hours with the girls when they are with him. It's gonna be like hell. Honestly, it's going to be like hell. How the children will react, how the children will develop their psychological uh, you know, stability, I don't know. It's an experience that we have no choice in making or not making.